Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna take a look how to ask multiple permission at once in a runtime. Now look at this end result here. We have a button here. If I click this, this permission dialog will show up. And you can see the number here, it is one of three. That means it is asking for three permissions at once. If we allow this, the second permission will show up. If we also allow this, the another permission is also show up. I am gonna also allow this. Now you can see which permission did we allowed in the toast message. Now if we click on this again, nothing will show up. And that's the thing that we are going to build. So now let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. Now in Android Studio, I have already created this project. And I'm gonna use linear layout instead of this constraint layout here. We're gonna give the orientation to vertical and gravity to center. And in here, we're gonna create a button with an height and width wrap content. We're gonna give this button a text. I'm gonna simply set it to ask permissions. And we're gonna set text all caps to false. Now we need to give this button an ID. I'm gonna call it ask permissions. And that's it for our layout part. Now we will go to our end.manifest.xml and in here we are going to declare our permissions that we need. So opening angle bracket user permissions sent sms. I am going to declare two more permissions here calling phone permission and the camera permission. You can declare as much permission as you want according to your requirement. In this tutorial, I am going to stick with these three permissions. Now you will go to our main activity.java. And in here, first we are going to define a string array. I am going to call it permissions. We also need our button here. So private button. I'm gonna call it ask permissions. Now you will assign our button to its following ID. So ask permissions is equal to find view by ID r dot id dot ask permissions semicolon. Now you will take our permission string array and initialize it to a new string array like this. And inside the curly braces, we're gonna pass our permissions. So manifest dot permission dot call phone comma like this we're gonna pass our other two permissions send SMS and camera and these permissions are the one that we defined in our manifest file. You can always add more to your choice. We need to check all these permissions. For that, I am gonna create a method outside of the onCreate method. And this method gonna returns a boolean. So private boolean has permissions and it should take two parameters. First is the context and the second one would be strings. We are gonna define it like this and call it permissions. And this dot 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 means we can pass more than one string here. And inside here we are gonna create a if statement to check the context and the permission isn't null. And inside this we are gonna create a for loop here. The first variable would be a string. I am gonna call it permission colon and we are gonna pass our permissions that we have defined in the parameter. And this for loop will check every parameter that we have passed in the parameters. So if activity compact dot check self permission this takes two arguments so we're gonna pass our context from the parameter as a first argument comma and the permission from the for loop equal to equal to package manager dot permission granted 
and we are going to return false because it is a boolean method we have to return a boolean and outside of the for loop we are going to return true now we are going to call set on click listener to our button so inside the on create method ask permissions dot set on click listener view dot on click listener so inside the on click method we are going to check for our permissions with the hash permission method that we have just created so if exclamation mark has permissions and it takes two parameters like we defined for the context we are going to pass main activity dot this comma and for the permissions we can pass our string permission array here that we have created above and this boolean method is going to check for the every permission that we have passed as a string array and return true if all of them are granted or false if all of them or some are not granted if they are not granted we are going to ask for the permission with activity compact dot request permissions and this takes three arguments first is our activity context comma second going to be the permission that you want to request so we can pass our permission string array and the third one would be a request code for this tutorial i'm going to passing one now if we click the button it going to check for the permission that we have passed as a string array if not granted it going to ask for those one but that's not all it we have to check which permission that the user granted and which are not for that we are going to go outside of this on create method and override this method on request permission result method and inside this method first we are going to check for the request code that we have passed when we have asking for the permissions so if request code equal to equal to 1 we are going to check for the which permission that user granted and which are not with the if else statement so if grand result and this grand result is a string array so we are going to pass zero in parenthesis equal to equal to package manager dot permission granted for this i'm going to simply show in toast message here but you can write your actual code here and the message will be calling permission is granted and inside the else statement that means user doesn't granted the permission i'm going to also show in toast message that is calling permission is denied if you know how an array works then you should know that the zero represent our calling permission that we have defined here first one is zero second is one and third one is two now we are going to copy our whole if else statement and paste it below and change the zero to one that represents the sms permission and in the toast message we are going to change this calling to sms and now we are going to paste it below one more time and change this calling to camera and that's all it to ask multiple permission at once and check them that user is granted or not and it looks like that i have did a, a little mistake that is in the hash permission method it should be not equal to permission granted that's why we are returning false now let's test the app to see how it's work and you can see when i click this button this pop up dialog will show up with the number of permission that it is requesting if we allow it the next will show up so let's deny this one and it going to ask for the third one and allow it to see what happens and you can see in the toast message two permissions were granted and one is denied and if we click this button again it going to ask for that permission that we have denied it and this time let's allow it and you can see in the toast message that it is saying all permissions were granted and now if we click this button again nothing will show up because we have already granted all three permissions 
ओके गाइस दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस टू रिलेटेड दिस टॉपिक प्लीज आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टेक केयर